If you're afraid you might have shared information with a scammer or notice charges on an account for purchases you didn't make, well, you shouldn't wait to fix the problem. Our National Verify team has three easy steps you can follow to protect your information. Here at Verify, we want to help people avoid getting scammed. That's why we dedicated a whole section of our website to fact-checking scam claims. But sometimes viewers reach out to us for guidance after falling for a scam. If that's you or someone you know, here are three things our sources say you can do right now to protect yourself. One, report it. If you shared your banking information or social security number with a scammer, report the scam to police, your banking institutions, and credit bureaus. If scammers have your social security number, they can open up lines of credit in your name. Stop scammers in their tracks by calling all three credit bureaus and freezing your credit. If scammers have your bank account or credit card info, call the bank and ask them to reverse the transaction or give you your money back. Next, change your passwords and add two-factor authentication to your accounts. A lot of personal information is kept in online accounts, including your email address, bank account, and social security numbers. So having a secure password and changing it frequently is key. Just make sure to pick one that's at least 12 characters long and don't use the same password for multiple accounts. Now, if it's an option, set up two-factor authentication. That requires you or anyone else trying to log into your account to have a second factor, like a security code sent via text message to gain access. Finally, check your computer and other devices for signs of hackers. Is your antivirus program up to date and running? Well, if the computer is unable to run any programs or is running really slowly, that could be a sign that it's been hacked. Disconnect the computer from the internet and take it to a reputable computer technician for inspection. If you suspect your cell phone may be compromised, contact your mobile service provider. Once you have access to your devices again, change your passwords and your PIN numbers. We have an article on our website full of helpful numbers and links. To access it, scan this QR code right here on your screen. With your Verify, I'm Ariande Till. And remember, if there's something you'd like us to verify, you can just reach out, send us an email to verify at newcentermain.com, or you can connect with us on social media.